Why do we get certain diseases? I'm talking about conditions like anxiety and depression, uh, diseases like Alzheimer's, diabetes, cognitive decline, these diseases that most Americans are um, dying from, why do we get them? <laughs> okay, so that's that's a big question. I appreciate that. But what the, the specific part of the human body I want to talk to you about today is your gut. So your gut is actually outside your body. So what do I mean by that? From your mouth to your anus, that is an enclosed system that is not in communication directly with your bloodstream until your body allows that to happen. So it's an incredibly brilliant system where your body knows it's getting exposed to bacteria and pathogens and toxins. And as long as that lining, that barrier is intact between the inside of your gut and your bloodstream, intact against bad guys. Now, of course, we want it to be very permeable and open to good guys like the nutrition we're eating because you know, if it went in your mouth and came all completely out your butt, then we would never, <laughs> we would never be nourished. So that wouldn't work. So there is a uh, intelligence to your gut that says, "Bad guy, doors closed. Good guy, come on in." And and that's the way it's designed. It's pretty brilliant. The body makes uh, what's called three. Well, it's called secretory IgA. It makes three grams of it every day to act as a protection barrier against organisms and toxins. So we generate this substance every single day to the lining of our gut to make sure we're intact. So what happens? What goes wrong? You've probably heard of leaky gut. It's a pretty common term these days. But what that means is an inappropriate permeability of the bad guys passing through. So there's something called endotoxemia. So endotoxins are um, actually the outside of certain bacteria, the outer membranes are called endotoxins, they're also called LPS. But the, the important thing is that these are the outer membrane of certain bacteria that you don't want to get into your bloodstream. Now, um, we're exposed to it regularly. Even healthy individuals have colonies of these bacteria. So it's not that it's wrong for them to be in our gut. What's wrong is when they pass out of the gut. Then it's called endo, um, endotoxemia because the, the emia is out in the blood. So you can have endotoxins as long as they're contained, but as soon as they pass out into your bloodstream, now it's leading toward those inflammatory diseases I mentioned a few moments ago. So how do we stop this? Because the human body by design has it pretty well in hand. You know, it says, I know how to handle this. I, I make all that protective secretory IgA. I, I have a good barrier. You know, it, it's set up very well for bad guys to stay within and the good nutrition to get out into your bloodstream and nourish your cells. So how does it go so wrong? It's our diet. And what we're talking about are the highly processed foods, the highly palatable foods. We're talking about sugar. We're talking about alcohol. We're talking about processed meats like salamis and bolognese, which are, by the way, known carcinogens. Uh, these are the non-whole foods, non-real food that we consume in great abundance. It's estimated well over 60%. I was gonna say well over 50%, but it is over 60% of children and American adults get their calories from these highly processed, highly palatable foods, which are leading to this inflammation. They did an interesting study with um, young men at, at Boston College, and they gave them you know, one drink and then up to four alcoholic beverages. And what they found was as their alcohol raised in their bloodstream, so did their endotoxins raise in their bloodstream, showing that alcohol was something that created this permeability, opened the doors. And so there's a lot of studies that are backing up that that is our really inherent problem. It's what we're consuming that's sort of busting open those barriers and creating this leaky gut, when by design, we should have good integrity there. So. It's, 
it's a simple message really, which is to get real food in your body and stay away from the hyper palatable foods. And that takes some effort, I know. Uh, also, we do specialized testing to see what we need to do to sort of regain health in a gut that's no longer healthy. So that's something we can help you with. We can help you with um, your diet from the viewpoint of steering you in the right direction and finding things you like to eat that aren't in that bad category. I was going to mention gluten, which for some people could be uh, okay, you know, organic wheat berries could be okay as long as you're not gluten sensitive, but gluten is another food that's been shown to increase permeability. So there's, there's several things to look at. And of course, our programs here at Root Cause are personalized and customized to the person in front of us. So that's what we do. We see where you are, what issues you're struggling with, and how to regain your best health. So if you like this content, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the channel so more people can see this information. And uh, if you want a consultation, my team and I are delighted to do that. The, uh, under the description, you'll see the telephone number. And uh, I hope to see you soon.